Well, I'm, I, that video got interrupted because I got a message saying that something was full, whatever, in there. So I don't know if it stops again. I'll know that I didn't delete enough stuff. Uh, I was about to tell you that my grandpa Lodal looked at the piece of paper and he goes, uh, Ah, Kierkegaard. He was a Lutheran, wasn't he? And that's my, my Kierkegaard story. He was a Lutheran, which he was, uh, and most people in Denmark were at that time. And for Kierkegaard, that was part of the problem. Christianity was basically just a cultural at um, addition to the Danish life. And uh, he had a lot of criticism of that. Uh, so if you look on page nine, as, as Caputo comes to an end, uh, Kierkegaard was, in that sense, deeply Socratic. That's the adjective de derived from Socrates, of course. Deeply philosophical. Uh, oh, yeah, because philia means lover, love, yeah. Uh, so love of wisdom is what philosophy means. In search of and trying to become a Christian, just the way Socrates was in search of wisdom. Both Kierkegaard and Socrates were philosophers, the difference between them lying in Kierkegaard's faith that wisdom is ultimately found only in Christ, while Socrates thought it was found in the form of life embedded in the Greek polis or the Greek uh, society, the Greek uh, st structure, political structure or structures. Uh, I want to say a couple of things about this. Uh, one is that uh, I do think it's quite true that 